What is up guys? My name is Harry Race and welcome back to the channel. And today is another video in 25 Days of Harry. And today is going to be a another top well top music list. I was gonna say top 20, but no, it's it's not like every other every other music list is a top 20. This is this is I believe the only top 20 actually. Um I oh, know, there's two top 20s. My apologies. This is a this is another, the second uh, top 20 list. I'm pretty sure it's the second one. Uh, and today, as you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail, or in the, excuse me, the intro that just happened, uh, is going to be my top rap songs. Uh, I know I might look like one of those types of people that doesn't listen to rap, but I, I listen to my fair share of rap. I like um, some new rap. I like a lot of, of old uh, Biggie, uh, Tupac, Dre, Snoop, that type of era. I like that. But I also like a lot of uh, post uh, Fetty Wap or Fetty Wap. Pretty much, I say Fetty Wap for the meme. Fetty Wap, Post Malone, uh, that type of stuff, and good current rap. I should say, good current rap. I don't listen to your drummers, for example. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna get into the top of the list, and uh, yeah. So, boom, it appears on the screen because the magic of OBS. And coming in at number twenty is G E Z. Oh God, G E Z. I mean it, featuring Remo. Um, and I, I know this is probably going to be a very, uh, what the fuck pick, but I, I personally really like the song. Um, it, it's one of those where it's, uh, where it's like, okay, I, I can fuck with this. I can fuck with this. Um, but you know, it's not like one of those like all time favorite songs, you know, like obviously like some of the songs that are going to show up in the future. Um, but I think this one's just very nostalgic because it's one of the first songs I heard where I heard the beat and I was like, hey, I could go to this. I could go to this. And I actually did uh, a rap song over the beat of I Mean It. And I thought it was pretty good. Who knows? Maybe I'll try and record it with the mic I have now and post it in the future. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a whole fucking mixtape or something. But, uh, yeah, Jeezy, I Mean It featuring Remo. That's number 20. Coming in at number 20, Fort Minor, Remember the Name featuring Styles of Beyond. Um, now, obviously, this is this is a song where it's very much pure nostalgia. It was one of the first rap songs I heard. Period. Um, and honestly, it's 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 a really good one. It was a good one to arguably start out with. It was very very overplayed. Still is, in my opinion. Uh, it's a good rap song, but it's not like great. I believe this is the only hit Fort Minor has ever had. Um, they go they all they go hard on this song, in my opinion. A lot of their their lyrics. Uh, fit very well the beat is of course a classic i uh, i want to say i've heard of quite a few songs either inspired by this beat or straight out use this beat um because i don't want to say it's an easy one to rap over but it's one of the most simplest right? oh, okay listen to that rap style and then or rap that rapping pattern boom i can just do that there so uh fort minor remember the name it's, it's a pretty good one next up is macklemore and ryan lewis with thrift shop featuring wans i don't fucking know how to say that um this is also another nostalgia pick. Early on, or these first three songs are very much nostalgia picks. Uh, Macklemore, I would consider more in the comedy rap with this type of, with this song, Thrift Shop. Uh, it, it does, I really like the song on its own. Um, as, as a comedy song, it makes some good points. I mean, why the fuck would anyone spend $50 on a t-shirt, for example? That's the biggest one that really left an impression on me, like... That is fifty dollars for a T-shirt. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Um, plus, I really like the the beat. I like. I want to say that's Wans on the on the chorus, um, with the with the the, the the chorus. Obviously, like I said, um, I really like the chorus. It might be my favorite part of the song. I'm not sure though. But uh, but yeah, Macklemore's in at eighteen, and uh, yeah, coming in at number seventeen is Schoolboy Q with Hands on the Wheel, featuring ASAP Rocky and uncredited. Um, an uncredited sample is on the song. I, f I forget who. I should have looked it up before the start of the video. Um, but yeah, there's an uncredited sample. And honestly, this is probably one of the songs where the sample is better on this song than it is on the actual song it's used on. Um, that's where the, the title of the song comes from. Hands on the Wheel is the, the unused sample. Or the uncredited sample, I should say. Uh, but Schoolboy Q and even ASAP, from what I remember of his verse... Uh, they both go hard in this song. This song, uh, this is like obviously Schoolboy's, oh, oh, obviously Schoolboy Q's best song. I'm limiting myself one per artist unless they're featured in a song, which in that case, I can feature them all I want. 
Um, but Schoolboy Q, this is probably his best song that I've heard from him. Um, courtesy of Nick Cash. Nick Cash really introduced me to this song. Um, and yeah, School, I think, goes very, very well on this song. Uh, even ASAP, from what I remember, like I said, um, even he has a hard verse on this. So yeah, check out all these songs in the playlist below. If I remember to make a playlist, I'm pretty sure I remembered, though. Coming in at number 16 is 50 Cent with Back Down. Um, I just really like 50 Cent. 50, 50's voice, well, yes, it can be a little boring. Um, for me, personally, I really like I really like the beat of the song. I was actually going to... I think I actually did do a rap song for school. Um, it was for English class. It was based on... Fuck, I can't remember the book. Oh, it was... Um, Oh, it's the book where the boy, where the, the group of boys are in the wild. Fuck, why can't I remember the name of it? God damn it. If I remember it sometime, I'll put it in the chat or description or comments or something. I'll probably remember when I'm like number two or something. Uh, but I, I made one like that, uh, uh, based on that. And it went very well, in my opinion. I think it did. I'll have to see if I can find that. If I can find the actual one I did... Um, then I might post it in the future. Who knows? I might post it because there's no swearing. So it'll probably be one of the easiest to get by the YouTube censors. But yeah, 50 Cent Back Down, pretty damn good song. Number 15 is Kanye West with Stronger. Of course, this is a sample of Daft Punk's Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. Uh, such a great song, by the way. It's not on the pop list because it's electronic and I don't listen to a whole ton of electronic music. And besides, even if I did make an electronic list, it would just be all Daft Punk. Because they're the only good electronic artists. Him and uh, Death Mouse. Or them and Death Mouse, excuse me. Uh, but Kanye West samples a song. And it's a perfect example of how to how to sample a song. I hope I didn't say censor a minute ago. It's the perfect example of how to sample a song and do it properly. <coughs> well, I am. Um, especially a Daft Punk song. <coughs> well, I am. Um, but Kanye... Works incredibly well. He dropped some of his hardest bars, in my opinion. At least I've heard of him, um, personally. And I really think that Kanye... Um, I need to listen more Kanye, personally, because if this is just, like, one of his best songs, or if... Because I've heard a lot of people say, oh, Stronger's one of his best songs, but have you heard... Mm. And Gold Digger being that. I like Gold Digger, but Stronger's just a better song, mostly because of the beat. Kanye's production skills are amazing, and I, I'm pretty sure he did produce this song. Um... So Kanye West Stronger, just, I can't say much about these songs because I don't want to spoil the impact that it will have on you if you do choose to listen to these songs. So I'm not going to say a whole ton about them, but I'm going to say a ton about them as much as I can. So Kanye West Stronger. And in at number 14, one spot away from being in the, double, the alleged devil's number, uh, Immortal Technique, Dance with the Devil. If I made this list about six months ago, it probably would have been in the top five a year ago. I believe it was in the top five, maybe even top three, I think. But now, obviously, it's dropped quite a bit. Wow, that really hurt. Um, but yeah, it's dropped quite a bit. Um, nine spots from where it was. I believe it actually was number three last year. Um, but Immortal Technique, Dance with the Devil. It's a very disturbing song when you first listen to it, and then you keep listening to it, and then you realize it kind of makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Or at least that's how I was personally. It really didn't make any sense when I, uh, when I, uh, when I first listened to this song. And honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't disturb me at all. The beat, though, the beat, the piano, the little piano in that song, still gives me the chills whenever I'm just scrolling on. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Whenever I'm scrolling on my iPod, and and I'm listening to music, and then all of a sudden I just hear the opening, uh, piano. Hello? Okay, there we go. But whenever I'm on my, my iPod, I'm listening, and I hear the... the da -na 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 -na, da -na 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 na 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 Whenever I hear the opening notes of this song, at first I was like, nope, I can't listen to it. And then I go back and I'm like, yeah, I'll listen to it a minute. And then I find myself listening to the whole song. So that, that does give it points. It probably would have been number 18 or so if I just listened to it for, for those few seconds, then went back, listened to it a minute, and they're like, all right, I'm done. But no, I listened back because I enjoyed the story it tells. And Mortal Technique, I like his flow on the song. Love the beat, obviously. Um, but Immortal, um, I do probably like Obnoxious more now. Um, but Dance of the Devil, 
I guess sort of has left an impact on me. Not in like, oh my god, I don't want to do this. But more of the, holy shit, I want to make a story like this type of impact, you know? Um, so, Immortal kind of failed in the what he was looking for with the message of the song. But he's inspired me in another way, sort of. I, I almost called him Tech a minute ago because there's no way he raps as fast as Tech 9. Tech 9's on the list, by the way. I enjoy some Tech 9 songs, but I couldn't find one for, in particular that I loved more than any other. I was like, I can't choose. He's off the list for this year. Next year, there more than likely will be a Tech 9 song on the list. I just have to, I have to listen to way more Tech 9 than I've listened to already. I really enjoy Tech 9. Coming in at number 13. Oh, wait. Is not the rest of the list is just going to be Dance of the Devil. That's a blooper that I'm not going to put in. Uh, so number thirteen is DMX X Go and Give It to You. And now I know a lot of people are going to be like, "How the fuck do you have that above Dance with the Devil?" I like DMX a little more than Immortal Technique. That's as simple as that. This is a classic song, obviously. X Go and Give It to You. Uh, I believe this comes off. Uh, I believe this comes off the album, and then there was X. I think it probably does. Now watch, it comes out off the other album that got that went platinum in 2000 from X. But, um, Party's Over, I think, is the other album that's called, I think. Um, but X gonna give it to you. Great beat. I love DMX's voice. It's just iconic in rap. When you think the most iconic voices in rap, to me, Biggie, DMX, and Tupac are the first ones I... No, Snoop, not Tupac. I confused those two for some reason. Uh, DMX, Biggie, and, and, uh, and Snoop are the first three that come to mind. DMX probably the first, just because he genuinely sounds like a dog at points <laughs> with how he how he styles his voice. He genuinely sounds like a dog at points, and I find that so fucking cool. So DMX X go and give it to you is in at number thirteen, and uh, yeah, I can't I can't really say much about the song that I haven't said already. Um, oh God, why did I just do that? There we go. It's coming out at number twelve. It's Kendrick Lamar, "Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe." Um, this song is is more or less one that. I, I really enjoy because of, I guess it would be considered the chorus or the bridge, the hook or whatever. Uh, but Kendrick, I do really like Kendrick's flow on the song. Kendrick's flow and the lyrics, I really enjoy. Uh, there's probably, knowing Kendrick, there's probably some wordplay I didn't catch the first thousand times I've listened to this song. Um, but I, I definitely do have to go back and listen to the song and spot the, uh, spot what I haven't listened, heard already. But from what I... Or not what I heard, but what I didn't catch, I mean. Uh, but from what I can recall, because I didn't listen I didn't listen to any of these songs. I just, like, okay, I like this song. I can put that in there. I just put these in, in where I, I want them. Actually, not to lie. Some of the top, like, ten songs I've listened to, um, just because they're they're great songs and I have listened to them recently. Um, but Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe makes a list purely because Kendrick. Um, now I know a lot of people are going to be um, putting Humble... Or, or swimming pools drank in this situation. Swimming pools drank was actually, or swimming pools was actually on my list last year, um, but this year obviously it's been replaced by "Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe," and I believe it's moved up the list or down the list because I believe swimming pools was about eighth or seventh last year. I should probably do like where these artists rank. That'd be kind of cool next year, but because but yeah, next year because this year. You guys won't know if you if you weren't on my old channel, which none of you guys were, except like one or two of you, but you're the OGs. Number 11 is Cannabis, second round KO. Of course, this is the diss track aimed at LL Cool J, um, who, unlike Eminem to Nick Cannon, was not a pussy and responded. Now watch, because I said that in the recording, Eminem's going to have uploaded a reply like six fucking hours before I uploaded this video. <sighs> I really hope not. But anyways, Cannabis, second round KO. This is one of the hardest diss tracks I've probably ever heard. Honestly, second round KO goes fucking hard. Um, honestly, like, honestly, Cannabis just brings it all out on this. And it sucks to see he's sort of declined. I believe he, he was the one that did the J. Cole diss track. Um, I think. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to brush up on my diss track history with that. But, uh. But Second Round KO is a fucking great song. Uh, the beat, I love the beat as well. I actually tried to make a diss track myself over it, but I stopped after I had like 10, 10 lines. I was like, why am I doing this over Second Round KO? <laughs> and I think it was called like Down by Two with three left in the third or something like that. I think I was going to try and make it like a hockey reference or something, but I don't, I don't remember. 
But uh, yeah, second round KO, fantastic song. One of the first diss tracks that I heard and I absolutely loved. Um, second round KO makes the number 10 spot, or excuse me, number 11 spot. And into the top 10, oh god, I don't know why I did that. There we go. We have ASAP Rocky, or ASAP Rocky with fucking problems featuring Drake, 2 Chains, and Kendrick Lamar. So Lamar's on the list twice, ASAP's on the list twice. Spoiler, Drake will be on the list twice, and 2 Chains is on the list once. Uh, so ASAP uh, goes hard on the song. Drake goes really hard on the song. Two Chains goes hard on the song. I'm not used to Two Chains. Two Chains doing that. And Kendrick might go the hardest. It's, bet it's between him and Drake personally. Um, I love all four guys on these song on the song, uh, or all four guys on this song, I should say. Uh, two Chains, I don't listen to it all. ASAP, aside from the two songs here, I don't think I've listened to any of his. Drake, I absolutely love, regardless. Kendrick's fucking dope. Um, but this song is just amazing. Cracking the top ten. Uh, I kind of should, I probably should have put it higher, but, eh. Top ten, I think ten is number, is very, ten is number safe. Ten is very safe. Um, just please check it out. It's a fantastic rap song. One of my favorites, obviously, with it being in the top ten. Um... Check out fucking Problems. It's a great song. Coming in at number 9, Dr. Dre, What's the Difference? Featuring Eminem and Exhibit. I almost said Exhibit just to be funny, but then I was like, no, I don't think I should do that. But I just did it anyways because fuck me. Um, but yeah, Dr. Dre, What's the Difference? With Eminem and Exhibit. It's Dre and M. I don't think I need to defend it all. And Exhibit, he also goes pretty hard on the song. All three guys go hard on the song. I really like it. That's all I can say. Dre and M, just please check it out. Number eight, and I know this one is going to be a very, very weird song to put so high up. And I know some of you are probably going to be like, why is that here and not in the country charts or the country list? Because number eight is Lil Nas X, Old Town Road, featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. I never would have thought Billy Ray Cyrus would be making a top rap songs list, let alone mine. And honestly... Billy Ray Cyrus is awesome on this song. Lil Nas X, of course, every, of course, both guys are fucking dope on this song. And if I, I'm gonna be honest, um, I, I might, I this probably might be one of my favorite songs of the entire year. Um, maybe my favorite. I think it would definitely be my most played song of 2019 because it's only like two and a half minutes, and of course, um, most rap songs are four, five, six minutes, so. Hey, Lil Nas X probably figured out the algorithm. Hey, if I make a song just over two minutes, boom. Um, but yeah, Nas and Billy Ray Cyrus, it's a great song. Love the beat. Um, it's not the hardest rap song, but it's just one of the most fun in my opinion. Not your typical song about fucking bitches doing drugs and stealing girls' bitches, stealing guys' bitches, same thing. Um, cause guys are bitches too. <laughs> if anyone knows what song that's from, you're, you're dope. You're dope. Uh, but Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus making a song about just riding some horses to the old town road. I like it. It's, it's a pretty good song. Coming in at number seven is Eminem with My Name Is. Now I know this is his first single and it's probably going to be like, oh, is this the first Eminem song you listen to? Yes, it actually is. Um... My name is is it's still my favorite Eminem song, and I didn't put it at number one because Eminem is not the greatest rapper in my opinion. He's definitely up there, probably top three. Um, though despite the fact that he is white, probably gave him like, oh my god, the white guy that can rap. But <coughs> fuck, my throat is off tonight. Today, excuse me, it's like 1 p.m. when I'm recording this. Um, but Eminem, my name is is a very very good song. One of the best rap songs, obviously, with it being number seven. Uh, I still find myself coming back to the song, even though I've kind of, not sour on Eminem, just got si a little sick of listening to Eminem. Um, I'll still come back to certain songs. This, uh, Nice Guy, because I may or may not be trying to write a song around Nice Guy's instrumental, Wing Wing Nudge Nudge. <laughs> um, but this, Nice Guy, and there's a couple others I come back to quite often, like Toy Soldiers is one of those great, great songs. Um, but My Name Is is the one I come back to the most where it's like, you know, let's go back and listen to My Name Is. That's a good one. Uh, so yeah, My Name Is, uh, The Real Slim Shady and The Way I Am obviously are really good songs that I come back to as well. But My Name Is, my, in my opinion, Eminem's best song. Probably his best song. Number six is Post Malone. 
Post Malone is higher than Eminem. This is not my ranking of best rap songs, despite what I've said probably. It's more so my favorite rap songs. So Post Malone and Relistenability. I've listened to Sunflower a lot recently. Uh, Sunflower by Post Malone with Sway Lee. Uh, funny enough, somehow, Ray Schwimmer's or Ear Drummer's Sway Lee has the best part of the song. And I don't know how, but he does. And honestly, he fucking nails it. He fucking nails his part in the song. And I found myself just humming that, just humming the, technically what would be the chorus or the hook or whatever. Um, I find myself humming that to myself quite often. I'm like, God damn it, I'm humming the Sway Lee part. Because <laughs> I fucking hate uh, ear drummers. Um, but Sway Lee, he brings it on the song. Post does as well. Uh, and somehow Sway outperforms Post on his own song. And the fact that it's attached to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which was one of my favorite songs from last year, and also one of my favorite, or one of my favorite movies last year, uh, and probably one of my favorite superhero movies, or comic book movies ever. Um, it, obviously, pretty much my favorite comic book animated animated comic book movie. Um, probably brings it up a little higher. Only thing that would have made it better is if Haley Seinfeld was on it, in my opinion. Check out the pop list if you want to know why. Yeah, post and uh, sway, you done did good. Number five is Fetty Wap, My Way with Drake. Uh, exclusively the version with Drake. The original version I can't really fuck with. Um, mostly because I've really outplayed the shit out of that one. But My Way with Drake is such a good remix. Honestly, I'll listen to the song just for Drake's verse. When Drake comes on the song, every time that first line hits, I get chills. And I was reading a comment on one of the videos that of, of, the, of the song. And it was like, everyone got chills the first time they heard Drake on this song. And it was right. I did. Every t when I first heard that, all I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. Goddamn. I was like, oh shit, goddamn, Drake, Drake's going in on this one. And he, he did. Drake, Drake did go in. And uh, I genuinely got chills the first time I heard the song. Uh, I want to say it was 2016 I first heard it, actually. I hadn't heard the remix for a while, actually. Um, but yeah, Fetty Wap, My Way with Drake. Pretty good remix. I really like it. Number four is Snow to Product with Problems. I seem to like songs with problems in the title. <laughs> um, but uh, but Snow to Product is probably the hardest female rapper in the game ever, in my opinion. Fuck Nicki Minaj. Fuck Cardi B. Fuck Doja Cat, even though I kind of like her. But for the terms of this, fuck... Fuck you, too. Fuck Doja Cat. And fuck Megan the Stallion, or whatever the fuck her name is. Snow to Product is the best female rapper in the game right now. I've listened to quite a few of her songs, but Problems is still the best in my opinion. Um, I, I'm pretty sure there's songs where she goes faster, uh, where she spits harder bars, but this is my favorite. The beat, uh, her flow on this one, and just how, how aggressive she seems on this song really works in my opinion, and I just... It just barely is kept out of the top three, just because of how good the songs in the top three are. Snow to Proc with Problems, pretty good song. Coming in at number three is Luna's, uh, Luna's, I Got Five on it. And the reason the song is number three is because I'm always remembered of Mr. DDT, DDT Regulator, or Moderator in my chat. Whenever I listen to the song, I'm like, we've had some good times together, despite us only talking over Discord um, and PlayStation uh, voice chat or whatever. Um, this song is just so good. I love the beat, obviously. Um, it's, it's, it's just really a great song. That's all I can say about it. What hasn't been said about the song already? It's such a fucking awesome song. Listen to it whenever you're able to, or just check out the playlist in, in the description below. Please, just check it out. Please, I appreciate that. Number two, and I, this is gonna get some flack, because this was an artist that was featured earlier in the list, twice in the list, his third appearance on the list, but also features another artist that was featured now for his third time on the list. Drake Forever featuring Lil Wayne, Kanye West, and Eminem. Eminem and Drake appearing for the third time on this list. Kanye is second, and Wayne with his first time on the list. Surprisingly, I really like a lot of Wayne, but I couldn't find one that I liked especially enough just to put on this song. And I was not going to put XXS Terminated, XXX Terminated on the list um, because I can't fucking stand Triple X. Um, well, he's inspirational. He makes a song about sucking dick. Whatever. This isn't about triple X, uh, triple extension cord. Uh, Drake, Forever, with Wayne, Kanye, and M. 
This song is my second favorite, obviously. Everyone goes hard on this song. Everyone brings it. This is just one of my favorite songs ever. Not just rap, but ever. And honestly, um, if you haven't listened to this song somehow, I don't care who you are. Go into the playlist right after this video is done and go right to the song. This is my second favorite rap song. And it has four of the or three of the best rappers of all time and Kanye West on it. No respect, no disrespect to Kanye, but he's not one of the best of all time in my opinion. Drake, Wayne, and M are some of the best. Back to back would have made the list, but I was like, I like Forever just a little bit more than Back to Back, and I was going with the no duplicate straight up artists. Like you see, notice here, M's featured twice, and he has his own song. So technically, I could have done that. I could have done some cheeky shit, like put my version and whatever. I wasn't going to be cheeky with the list anyways. Drake, Forever, number two. Number one is probably going to be a song. I don't know if anyone, not anyone, obviously. I don't know if a whole ton of people have heard of on the channel. Um, it's by a rapper who I, everyone should know. Um, outside of this channel, I'm sure a, a lot, a lot of people have heard it. Um, I'm just going to get into it. Number one is the Notorious B.I.G. with Notorious Thugs featuring Bone Thugs and Harmony. And it's funny um, that that they're on this list because I do not like Bone Thugs and Harmony. I can't get into any of their standard songs, but with Biggie, everyone brings it on this song. Everyone goes hard. And, of course, the, the story goes, or at least from what I've heard from Mr. DDT, Biggie cried because he could not match Bone Thugs' uh, flows on this song, um, but honestly, Biggie brings it the brings it the hardest, regardless of how fast he flows. He spits the hardest bars on this song. Um, he's just amazing on the song. Biggie and and the members of Bone Thugs and Harmony are great on the song as well. Everyone brings it. They're all on the song. Just please check out the song whenever you're able to. That's that's all I can say really is just. Check out all these songs, but if you had to, only check out the last two. If you only have time for those, please, you will not regret it. Some of the best songs ever, the best rap songs ever. Yeah, just please check those out. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, and remember, clues, but not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and everything else. My name is Harris. Subscribe to the Puff Club. Subscribe to the HD Club. Subscribe to join the Sub Hub. If you are a moderator in the chat, you are a part of the Mod Squad. Shout out to my moderator Jesse in chat for getting me this dope ass webcam I've been using for about two, two and a half months now. I'm gonna say. Um, links in the description are my Twitter, my Twitch, my Twitter. I've used more recently for hockey talk most of the time. Uh, Twitch, I'm not using it all until I get to the new house because I want to see how the internet is there and hopefully OBS will let me stream with Twitch. So. Fingers crossed there. Uh, my Amazon wishlist is also in the description. Um, that's pretty much obviously where I put stuff. And if anyone wants to get me anything off there, it's greatly appreciated. Any other month you would get a video uh, of showing of me uh, unboxing. Of me showing showing me unboxing the stuff that or the thing. What if anyone decides to get me anything? And you can do that in December if you request it. But uh, if if you don't, then every gift I receive or every pretty much a gift, every present I receive in the month of December will be held on my desk. And they'll be kept until December 25th. I'll be doing a Christmas live stream off of YouTube itself. In case you guys are wondering why I'm, why I'm how I'm streaming anyways, that's YouTube itself. I'll be keeping every gift on my table. I I say gift, but I mean uh, I mean package. I'm just gonna say gift from now on. Every every gift on my table, I'll keep every gift on my table and I'll open them on a Christmas live stream. If there's none to open, it'll be a fun little Christmas live stream. It'll be a fun live stream either way. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And my letterbox is also in the description. That's where I rate and review movies. Most of the time I just rate them. Sometimes I do review them, though. Um, yeah, uh, check out Letterbox if you want to find out what movies I love and movies I hate. Spoilers, bad comedy will get you a very big dislike. Uh, unless of, and check out my Letterbox. Unless, of course, you want to wait for a movie at the end of the month. One quinks, uh, if, you, if you want to wait for a video at the end of the month. One quinks, nudge, nudge. Um, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Hair Race, and I... As well as the list are out. Peace.